How's it going everyone? Welcome back to High PSI TV. Today we're going to do another ProClip USA install, this time on my 2012 Denali. Now this will be the same for a few different vehicles. I'll put a screenshot here of all the vehicles this would be for. Um, I've done a few of these ProClip installs before. Fairly simple process, so this shouldn't take that long. Let's unbox everything and see what we got. All right, so this is what we've got. Pro Clip center mount low. This will fit all kinds of Chevy and GMC vehicles. And then a medium universal adjustable Pro Clip holder. So I'll get these out of the bags and show you the instructions and how to install it. All right, just like every other ProClip that I've installed, the instructions are really good. They show you how to make it fit your cell phone, how to install it into the vehicle. And if you need, they even include this little trim tool. So the first step in our process is to fit our cell phone holder to our mount. To do that, we have to remove two screws, and then we'll take the mounting pad and mount it to our vehicle mount. The only tool you'll need for this is a Phillips screwdriver. Now that we have our mount removed, we can line it up here, and with the four screws that they provide, we mount our cell phone mount to our vehicle mount. Now that our cell phone mount is mounted to our vehicle mount, we can go ahead and reattach this, and then I'll show you how to adjust this to fit your cell phone. Now that we have everything mounted together, you want to loosen these screws just a little bit. And what that allows you to do is slide the cell phone holder in and out. I'm using a Galaxy S8, so what we want to do is pinch my cell phone in here. Pull it out gently. And then what I do is I always add a little bit of tension to this, so we'll close it up just a little bit more. And then we're going to tighten down our screws and see how it fits, like so. Now that we have everything assembled, we can go inside the truck and I'll show you how to snap this in. Okay, inside the vehicle, this mount is going to go right here. So basically it wedges behind your trim here and in between your wood grain and your heater controls here. There are two pieces of sticky tape on the back of this, and what you need to do is remove the non-adhesive backing and clean these areas with an alcohol swab real quick so that this stuff will stick. Now, this is easily removable, it's just there to help secure the mount. It'll actually peel right off if you ever need to remove this mount. So we'll take our little prep pad, make sure that both of these areas are clean, And once that dries, we can take our trim tool and install our mount. Now, the scenario on this is to clip in the back side first and then next to your heater controls. So we have our tool installed down here so we can pry back on this a little bit. And just like that, that side's in. Now, we kind of need to do the same thing up here. And that's it for installing our mount. I always try to give a good push all the way around to make sure that it's snapped in tight. And now we have a cell phone mount.
Now this mount, you can twist and move and angle your cell phone how you want. And I think just like that'll be fine. I can still see my navigation screen just like I want. I can still get to my heater controls and I have my cell phone right here. And what's nice in this vehicle is I have to use my aux cord if I wanna play music from my cell phone. So you don't have your aux cord running all over the place hanging. I'll run it from here across the dash and then plug it in and we'll be good to go. And that'll do it for this video. It takes maybe three minutes to get everything straight and installed, about five minutes to put it together on the bench, and that'll do it. No more fumbling for your cell phone. I wanna thank the guys at ProClip USA for the hookup again, and don't forget to check out their website. I'll put it here. And as always, guys, be sure that you follow me on Instagram. I try to post up there daily. I wanna thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.